why you should invest in geometry dash nfts you can become very rich and buy lots of cake <laughs> i asked my friends to make a bunch of geometry dash presentations and oh my god i was not expecting the straight up filth that we all ended up making all right guys you guys love geometry dash you guys no. like movies right my favorite movie would be the geometry dash movie if it was real so this is my pitch all right investors sharks this is my Holy pitch shark? cast guys who do you want in this movie well we have a talent agency they're looking for actors and i think we have a pretty good roster going <laughs> no, wait, is that what do we think i think it's perfect. this might be rob top wait we got rob top and this, okay. this will be well, this next top one in 2023 this next one is gonna be crazy you guys <laughs> not is this not perfect? I don't Dude. remember having waves. I do not remember that. <laughs> yeah. I see it. I don't yeah, think I see it. No, that's a classic Mandela effect. His hair is always looking uh, like okay, that. Okay, okay. My bad, my bad. Yeah. The player. <laughs> player. I don't remember any of these. I made this months ago. The player. <laughs> Oh, it's this oh. guy! I remember this guy. He's in the FNAF movie. Look at this. I think, his, I think the facial structure kind of... The facial structure kind of works. I see the facial structure. Like, it kind of looks similar. Do you guys see... Do you see... Yeah, yeah I see motive? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> this was this is old. This is so I'm sorry guys. This was really old. That's not this him. Is an old slideshow guy. I'm sorry. I love that's love. not him. Sorry, guys. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. 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 Speaking of which, do you guys see? Do you guys see I, the motive? I see the, see the resemblance, and I don't yeah. like that I do. Air. Oh, Aaron. 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 Oh. Oh, oh! I get it! Oh. That doesn't even sideways. look like Aeon. No, both of them are sideways. <laughs> no, I mean the image <laughs> of Aeon doesn't Wait, even look that... like Aeon. <laughs> it's the same pose, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah, both of them are sideways, that's why it works. We, so, we love GMD noise, guys. That, that's we definitely love GMD. I know. So it's for Pit. Uh, I knew it was the wilderness. I saw this coming. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> okay, okay, there we go. There. Be gone, Mister Gone. Oh sh. Oh. <laughs> Ryan. No. <laughs> He's oh, dead. No. Oh. Oh my God. The plot. What is the plot? Geobus, what is the plot? Can you explain it to us? Do you see the vision? I, I don't. Do I explain? No, the plot? I don't see the vision. Oh, I don't even. I don't even explain <laughs> the plot. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let's go back. What can we decipher from this? Uh, what do you mean, we? Well, you made the presentation. Oh, yeah, but I'm not. The, I'm not writing the movie. I'm just. It's just a pitch. <laughs> it's a pitch. Normally, I might be an insane demon, but around you, I might be a hard demon. Okay. What does that mean? Ooh. Whoa. Wait, I, I see the vision there. I think I fucked with the vision. There is I a vision. Fuck with there is a vision. Fuck with that. All right. Anyways, the yeah. end. Yeah. The end, guys. Thanks. I'm investing. I also rushed this in the last hour. It's not the best, but I say it's pretty good. Here we are. All right. Why you should invest in Geometry Dash NFTs. You can become very rich and buy lots of cake. Oh! I would love some cake. <laughs> oh my god. All right, guys. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, see <laughs> At least it's censored. Yeah, yeah, so you can't tell what it is. Like, I don't yeah. even know what that is, guys. I don't know what's going on behind there. Could be wait, yeah, wait. What is that? Uh, right. well, that was a sick ass transition, Loki. Oh. 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 Where are you oh. getting these? Oh, what the fuck did you find this? This exists? This exists? Asking for a friend, of course. I haven't seen anything yet. Okay, back to the main topic. Okay, okay, okay. Oh god. NFTs have captured the imagination of individuals across the globe. This essay delves into the multifaceted aspects of ownership, uniqueness, and the potential they hold for the future. Did you check to be see that? Yeah, that was a ball. <laughs> no, this is all chat GPT. <laughs> digital artist. Traditionally, the digital art would face challenges when proving ownership. Mod log, I can't. Uh, oh, I think something. <laughs> something's happening, guys. <laughs> did you get hacked? Did you get hacked? Did see that? Wait, wait, did you guys see? Thank you for listening. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome, baby. Oh, guys. For the vision. Right, I see the vision. I see the vision. Woo! Yeah. I'm clapping, but you can't hear it through the mic yet. <clears throat> <laughs>
<laughs> it's not by me. <laughs> Dude, not cool, man. I didn't make this. So over the years while I've played Geometry Dash, I've noticed quite a few levels that have resonated with me personally. Some levels I share the same values with, and there's some others where they tackle issues that hold near and dear to my heart. One of these levels is Save As by Peck. So this is why I personally love Save As by Peck. Save As by Pack is a Geometry Dash level about Alzheimer's disease. In Alzheimer's, people have memory loss and a decoration, a <laughs> de deterioration of their mental state. This resonates with me a lot because over the past few years, doctors have prescribed me with. We just witnessed a deterioration Anyways. of your mental state. <laughs> Wait, can, you, can you go back? I, I forgot. Yeah. Anyways, can you go back, please? So, Save Us by, yeah. by Pack <laughs> is a Geometry Dash level okay. in Alzheimer's. People have memory loss in a... Decoration. In a, decoration, yeah. In a decoration, decoration. of their mental state. <laughs> we continue. Um, how many slides uh, do we have? Save Us by, by Pack okay. is, is a Geometry Dash level in yeah. Alzheimer's. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> oh, it's oh, oh, oh. oh, the re slides. <laughs> it's it's the re slides. Why dreams by Function Squad sucks. It does not suck. Wait, it doesn't suck. <laughs> Dude, this is the best block in my I mean, that's facts. Do you, do you guys? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, fucking giggling is not a good sign. Alright, so top five. I don't oh. see. O A T. Oat. What, is, what does oat mean, minus? Uh, it stands for all time, of all time. Okay, okay. Oh, Alright, so we have four <laughs> Japanese letters <laughs> by Xenoterry. Yeah. Oh, that's five letters! Five by Xenoterry. So this one, I love the image in the top right corner. This one, That's because so <laughs> top left, shut the f up. Top left corner. Let me present. Let me present in the no. top left corner because there's a ship and it looks like an eye, right? Yeah, yeah. And then the top left corner, I like it because there's like a robot and he's jumping on these blue pads. I think that's very symbolic. And the third one, he's jumping up and down. Uh, the uh, the spider. I think that's also very symbolic. That's why I, I don't uh, get it. <laughs> I agree. This Minus level resonates the with me on a more spiritual level because I would say, uh, uh, fuck, uh, fuck, man, oh my god. Uh, Wait, what are you doing back there? Oh, okay, nah, I'm sorry, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> now we have white space by Zender I don't think that's white space, bro. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I think that's white space. So we have a little. It, there's white in there. It's obviously white space. Shut, shut the fuck up. All right, here, here, oh. here, here we have bubbles and a shock. And I really, uh, I think this is really cool because it introduces art into the game. The second one we have a key and a key fob. Or, I mean, wait, what? A key and a keyhole. And it's like unlocking like the hidden secrets behind the game. I think that's also oh. very meaningful. The third one, we have... Um, what is this? A mirror and a flower. But, like, the flower doesn't go into the mirror, so it's like kind of supernatural. Boss. True. That's so true. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah! We have Let's go! Spot, which is why uh, someone's presentation earlier touched upon it being a, a terrible level, and I highly disagree with that. Fluff decoration. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> that's right here. I don't know how the fuck you could say that. Wendy's. Oh, uh, uh, five people. Oh, shit, that's, that's me. That's you. Neo Flicker by me. Uh, yeah. Wait, minus minus. I don't think what? you made that level. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's the reason why it's on number four. Now we have. Wait, what the fuck's the title? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, no, no, no that's fine. <laughs> Droopy girl lewd again. Honey bunches of all of all time. Thank you for your presentation. I mean, my presentation. <laughs> I mean, my. Thank you. Um, I may or may not have made this in the past 30 minutes, but that doesn't mean that the quality is at all. Um. Alright, can we all give Endeavor our undivided attention?
are undivided. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love Impeded. copy of data analysis for marketing strategies by slides go. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. It's just data analysis of the demonic content. Okay, so we're going to be analyzing the dem demonic content within your top levels. So we're going to be looking at first the most liked levels, and then we're going to look at the hardest levels. So let's look at the most liked levels here. So the three most liked levels in Geometry Dash are Retray, Sonar, and The Nightmare. First, we're going to look at Retray, which at first seems pretty inconspicuous, but then you get to <laughs> people have uploaded it, and then you see this thing's called Hell Mode, and you're wondering, how is it Hell Mode, you know? And when you look at it closer, you see these, you know, demonic imagery, these aliens, this outer space, and you're wondering what how, what caused all this. So really, this is a really sufficient level, even though that it's trying to disguise itself as not you know, inconspicuous. And let's not even talk about this update here that, you know, what what is this here? Oh my god, it's chomping. And all the remakes of it, trying to worship this level, I don't know, it's like, very highly suspicious. So next we're gonna look at Sonar here, which, you know, on its surface, looks pretty inconspicuous as well. All these thumbnails, the map pack level, so... Um, there's nothing, yeah. you know, out, Wait, too out of place. Not, I don't think that's Sonar. Wait, that's not Sonar. I, well, I don't know, it showed up on Google search for oh. Sonar, so <laughs> okay. I can tell you that. Which, which I think, actually, let's let's tie that in. I think that's a little suspicious. Why does this red healthy level show up in Sonar, you know? So I think that's cause for concern. Uh, so the level itself doesn't really show any suspicious behavior, but when you look at the icon of the creator here, I don't know, like I couldn't tell you why, but it's just it's just giving like deeply giving. disturbing, you know? It's giving, it's giving. Yeah, do you all see it? I see it. I, I think see it. I, I like, yeah, see okay. it. It's like a cross, but it's also like upside down and like not upside down at the same time. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So next, oh, oops. Uh, next, we're going to look oh. at the nightmare here. And this is the first demon ray level here. And already that's a big red flag. Oh my the God. Demon yeah. imagery. Um, I don't know why these thumbnails have like inverted all the colors. They're trying to divert the attention of what this level really is trying to represent. Um, and you look at the level itself, it's trying to divert you from all this imagery here because obviously the level looks very innocent and very colorful but really in its core it's trying to be demonic any thoughts i i completely agree i think I we should agree. hide our children oh chill wait no next we're gonna look at extreme demons here so first the top one extreme demon here is acheron and off the bat you see these red these white it's like very hell colors and obviously the level is hell themed which is you know i think that is already a jumps out to me as demonic and i don't know what this thumbnail is down here but if people are you know making demonic imagery out on this level you know they're worshiping it you know and then you know all these like top players have like um <laughs> interacted with it you know it's like this like exclusive top one you know only a few people can like access this so it's trying to hide itself from the rest of the community it's really true intentions and you see the level of the contents of the level itself you know demonic obviously it's themed after the original club step here which you know rob top as we all know is a known satanist um so is, is theming he? your level after this is um did i miss something how do you guys not know he was a known satanist like yeah you don't know this? Oh, okay sorry 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 my bad. why do you think the 2.2 update's taking so long he's been practicing how to take over the earth and whatnot you know? oh oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah sorry 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 mm -hmm. Um, oh my God. <laughs> um <laughs> and then now we're gonna look at the third level, the second level here, Avernus. You know, this one thumbnail here right in this corner already that's sticking out to me as demonic crow. Again, red colors, you know, and that's you know cause for concern as well. Indifference. <laughs> and then um see like there's only one victor of this level, like no one has beaten it, and I think that's because everyone has like seen what the real intent of this level is, so they're being averted away from it. And like Zoink was one of the victors of Acheron too, so I think that Zoink here is one of like these like big conspirators. And I'm not gonna go down to the rest of the extreme demons, but like just look at these names: Silent Club Step, Slaughterhouse, Abyss of Darkness, Kyuki. I don't know what that is, but anything foreign, I don't know. Let's giving demonic. Um, to Coop in Circles yeah. and Arcturus, mm -hmm. and you know these, all these, um, these thumbnails again, like <laughs> all these like representations. It's, it's very demonic. Wait, wait, and that's I never... it. Yes. Wait, I have a question. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. I... Can you go back one slide? Thank you. Oh, okay, slide. thank you. That's all. Thank you. I, I have a question. Woo! Woo! We're done here, guys. Okay. I, don't think, I, I didn't hear any questions. That's that's good. I. I... Guys, have you ever been to a convention? You ever been to a convention? You know, furry cons. Can't, I don't know any other ones. Anyways, you can like pull up, have fun. Yeah.
what if there was one for Geometry Dash? You know, oh, just oh. just just celebrate. You know, the game's like ten years old, guys. You, you you can celebrate like the fun times. You know, the fun times. Anyways, fun attractions, guys. Every convention has fun attractions. All right, you get to do cool stuff with your buddies. You get to do fun. Oh. You get to do fun things. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Fucking sick, dog. That is sick. That's so sick. When you want to be, when you want to be that guy. Fun characters. Do you guys want to meet the I Geometry meet Dash ca characters? Do you guys want to meet them? Yeah, yeah. I do. Do you guys want to meet them? They are so oh cool. God. Wait, you can, you can, styles? you can do a little meet up, a little meet and oh. cool ass merch. Cool ass Ooh. merch, bro. Hey. Mm. Cool ass Ooh. merch. Mm. Ooh. A fucking pillow. Ooh. Oh. oh. Wouldn't you wanna do wouldn't you wanna just do fun just fun things on that bed? Who's having sex? <laughs> I I was. It was in Planet versus Triple Six. Celebrity meetups! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Oh, sure. Wait. Celebrity <laughs> meet Oh! Yes. Ah, no, oh, no! Oh, oh yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Food. Do you guys like food? I, I love Yo, food. Yo, W or L food, chat. W or L food. Leave w. it in the comments. W or L food. W. Oh. Ooh. 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 Yummy. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yes, I love cinnamon toast crunch too. What? Oh. Oh, what is? Uh, oh, no. uh, that looks delicious. Uh, location. Now, I chose a place, a safe and secure place. Nothing wrong can go down here. Nothing oh, that wrong. Looks, that's, that's can... Nothing wrong. It even has... okay, no, it's, it's a nice, safe, discreet location. Wait, sponsored by Louis Vuitton. You show up to the to the street, right? Then a nice white van shows up. Friendly, friendly driver, right? You'll open it up, and you know it's such a nice drive that you'll just fall asleep. A nice man will will kind of kind of get like a towel, you know, like a towel, and just like oh yeah, just like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, next thing you know you'll wake up in this nice discreet location no one will be, will be able to find you so who's pulling up with it. who's me. pulling up me me leave it in the comments would you pull up we're we're gonna no, we're gonna be there guys right yeah, yeah we're all gonna be here yeah, I'm all yeah we're, we're gonna we're gonna be there just, just show up just show up just show up we'll be Lindsay, there. Lindsay, no Lindsay, yeah no up. show up show up I'm gonna keep this as short as possible. I'm opening up channel memberships. It's not the flashiest thing, but you'll get an invite to my private discord where I plan out most of my videos and where I might ask you guys to participate in my video shenanigans. Um, with this, you can support my friends and I through university. A membership is kind of like letting me work one less hour at my part-time job and one more hour on my videos. So if you want to support what I do, feel free to pick up a monthly membership. And uh, yeah, thanks in advance. So, with my newly acquired presentation skills, I figured that I should put my new skills to use. And what better way than to pitch my very own presentation to a couple of Geometry Dash YouTubers. Mistake. Very, very bad mistake. Alright, let's 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 get going. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, hello Blueski, hello Moldy, hello Mango. Hello. Uh, hi Vit. Thank you all for attending Bro. my presentation. So, guys, we're all we're all Geometry Dash creators, right? We all love to create. I hope yeah. so. Yeah. So, as Geometry Dash creators, what's something that we all want? Money. Uh, CP. Money. Cheese I mean, pizza. Mod. Creator points. Yes. Guys. <laughs> guys. Yeah. And how exactly do we get creator points? Right? We have to make a new, innovative, creative, eye-catching collab that grabs the attention of many people in the community and potentially maybe even Rob Top himself. So I've gathered you all here today because you all have lots of notoriety and experience when it comes to level creation. Uh, we have uh, Vitten Who oh 12 God. with uh. <laughs> oh, gotta be joking. Oh, uh, ooh, scary. And uh. I remember my old name. Oh, <laughs> oh, and uh, whatever, whatever this is. No, that's a masterpiece, bro. That is so peak. And fun fact that live is not rated. It's, it's not? It's literally not rated. It's literally Rob not rated. doesn't rate my levels either. That's why we're here. <laughs> Uh, we have Louie with um, his upcoming level, Ascension to Heaven, very awesome. Yes. And uh, Ascending to Heaven. Uh, uh, hey, hey, hey. Whatever, whatever <laughs> this is. <laughs> I, I don't know what this. I kind of just found it on your channel, and I thought it was. I thought it was really cool. We have we have Mango with. Uh, um, That's Mango. Right there. Best one so far. <laughs> and of course, last but not least, we have. Mm, oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Anyways, the reason I brought you all here today. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Yeah, and then yeah. of course, I <laughs> and then of course, uh, me, Zemper. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I made this. I made this. So. The reason I brought you here all today is because I have a proposition. Here's what I propose, right? What if okay. we all teamed up together, right? We have Vitz, attention to detail. We have Blueski's grand visionary ideas. We have Mango's creative adaptability. And of course, Moldy's, um... Uh, yeah. so, what if we all teamed up, guys, to make the newest, greatest, most innovative collab of Geometry Dash 2.2? Okay. Lucky for you all, I have just the proposition. So here's my collab pitch what? to you guys, featuring... Mine? Mine, 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 um, Mine I forgot to update it. Um, I originally... <laughs> he or originally agreed to be here, but then he ghosted me. Um, <laughs> so I forgot to edit this out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um... That happens, bro. Uh, we have Blue Ski, uh, Blue, uh, Blue Ski Vit, Wait, S Mango, Blue? and Crater Moldy. So... Jump for joy. That's my, that's my, that's my... Oh, sorry. Um, mm -hmm. All right, guys, guys, innovation is, is the name. As we all know, many popular levels have one thing in common, right? Let's go over some popular levels real quick. All right, we have Revolution by Funny Game. Uh, we have Bloodbath by Riot and more. Very cool. Okay. We have Bloodlust by okay. Manix. Red. Mm, we have Mindcap by, I mean, Limbo <laughs> mind, Mindcap. <laughs> mindcap by and then, of course, we have um, Avernus by... Uh, whoever made this, I forgot. Anyways, <laughs> most popular levels have one thing in common. Innovation. Right. As you can see from all these examples, all these levels did something new and look extremely unique from one another. I love the innovation in the color. <laughs> yeah. All of these levels, they brought something new to the table. So, with that in mind, what can we do different? If we want to make, you know, the next biggest level, we're also gonna have to do something different. So you're all probably asking yourselves, right? Zemper, what can we do different? Yeah, any ideas? Any thoughts? We could make it blue. We could what make can it blue. We do different? What if we did something different in decoration? You know, maybe make a level that looks different that breaks the norms of creative bounds something that'll be sure to catch everyone's eyes or uh it's red though <laughs> yeah the red oh the no, there's red right there too oh no. <laughs> or what if we did something different with gameplay, right? Unique gameplay, giving the player a once-in-a-lifetime experience that they surely won't ever forget. Or let's 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 think a bit more abstract. Maybe a whole new concept entirely. A concept that doesn't go by the conceptual norms of Geometry Dash levels. You know, maybe instead of a level that's based on difficulty, a level that's based on perseverance or patience. But guys, no. I'm proposing a new creative realm entirely. A realm that extends the bounds of the editor completely. Oh, what I'm proposing is, okay, that, is that we focus on the human senses. Oh. So, we all know we have five human senses. We have sight, hearing, taste, feel, and smell. But, uh -huh. as of right now, every Geometry Dash level only focuses on two things, sight and hearing. So, these senses are triggered through the decoration and the gameplay, and then, you know, the music. So, what I'm proposing is that we bring one more human sense into play. Feel. Feel. Guys, so what if instead of the player just seeing and hearing the level from themselves, they also get to feel themselves. I mean, feel the level. <laughs> I mean, feel the level. Feel the level. Well, you know, players can see a level and hear a level. But question is, how do we get GD players to feel a level? You know, of course, you can't exactly feel all the intricacies of a level, right? You can't feel all the block decorations or all the structuring. So, if players can't touch a level, how can we incorporate the sense of touch into a level? That's right, guys. We get them to touch themselves. Oh, oh right, guys. my goodness. <laughs> Where do I sign? But guys, the big question, how can we do this, right? You can know you can't tell the player to just feel themselves. So guys, how can we get players to touch themselves? <laughs> guys, we turn it into a game. So let's let's think about this. Think about this, right? So if you want the player to look at the screen, what do you do? Right? You had some kind of obstacle, some kind of objective. In a very basic sense, creators make players look at the levels by turning it into a game. Because you know what they say, right? A level is worth a thousand words. Yeah, everyone says that. So deep, man. It's <laughs> yeah. a famous quote. But getting back on track. We get players to touch themselves by turning it into a game. And you may be asking yourselves, how do we get players to touch themselves? We add to you guys. Good idea. Lucky for us, guys. I already found the model for this. I found out how. 
Oh my. I alluded to this earlier. Oh. That's right, J O I. Do you guys know what this stands for? I know. I know what it is, but I don't know what it stands for. For those of you who don't know, um, J O I stands for. <clears throat> Geometry Dash. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what it said. That's the idea is that, you know, given visual or audio cues, players are instructed to um, <clears throat> touch their uh, Dash. at a certain time, incorporating a sense of touch into the level. So, you know, I imagine you guys are a bit taken aback by this, this new concept, so I'm gonna give you a bit of a rundown on how this is gonna work and be so successful. Jay, jump and jerk. <laughs> guys, jump to the music, jerk to the beat. A lot of levels these days, they sync their jumps to the music, which make you feel a lot more immersed and involved with the level. So I figured that if we want the player to feel like their body is also fully immersed with the level, you know, when their player goes up and down, so should their fist. Brother. Oh, I of. I, oh, sorry. I! Instruction. Give players objectives. Guys, this is where we really gamify our JOI level. We tell players when to jump, when to jerk, when to spam. You feel me, right? We challenge the player to challenge themselves. You know, we encourage the player to keep them consistently on edge, keep them on the edge of their seats. Uh, edging, you know, you may call it. Oh, off. Players will be off their f***ing rocker when they see this level. You know, of course, we have to give the player a memorable experience that they'll be blown away by how good the level felt. Finally, so exciting. Aren't you guys excited? <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah. This, yeah. This is this is this is huge, guys. This is this is gonna be huge. I'm huge. I'm huge already. So we understand how this is gonna work, right? You guys understand how this is gonna work? No. I think we need a demonstration. Uh, I'd like to bait test. So we understand how this is gonna work, but does anyone really want this? Do you guys want this? Really. Well, guys, according to market research, the answer is yes. On the Geometry Dash uh, subreddit, a username Fattest Fred brought up this concept a while back. Would a JOI level be bannable? This is my new novel idea and haven't found anything else like it. Untapped market? Untapped, untapped, market. untapped indeed. <laughs> so, as you can see here, this uh, pitch describes us how I described it before. You know, the player jumps and uh, so does their hand and they have certain <clears throat> objectives to reach for. But most of all, the reception that this level received, it was astounding. Genius. If you need a verifier, hit me up. What's the ID? Yo, give me the ID right now. He is cooking. He's cooking. Who let bro cook? Mommy's... What? Uh, guys, guys, the market research cannot be any clear. A JOI level is in high demand with virtually no supply. Guys, this is an untapped market, and we're gonna have to tap this until our balls f***ing explode. This brings me to our first prototype. So, uh, right. oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Guys, this is a simple concept prototype created by the YouTuber Cobb. So, let's take a look. Thoughts? Brother. It's genius. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. well, let's let's move on. There, there, let's move on. Let's move on. Hey, Yon, if you're watching this, I I don't I don't have anything to do with it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're in this together. We're in this together. Yeah. We're in this together. We're in this together. We're in this together. We're in this together. We are, we are, together. Yeah. This together. We are all deep inside yeah. into this together. Of course, guys, no level is complete without decoration. And, uh -oh. you know, given the level's elusive and innovative nature, I think we should have some decoration concepts that follow suit. You know, maybe go for a bit more of a modern approach to the level. Make it easy on the eyes so the player can focus on um, their touching. Mm -hmm. You know? Or, you know, maybe we go with a more um, art focused approach to the level. Something, you know, nice and relaxing that the player can enjoy because of how detailed and well made it is. Um, it's mm -hmm. also important to note that any characters depicted with an art style will be over 18 years old. So. <clears throat> or lastly, maybe we. Bro. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm so paralyzed. Alright, given given the five of us, here's how I imagine the level development will come out to play. Bluesky, given his extraordinary vision skill and making gameplay, he will create the gameplay for the level. He'll be the next top one hardest demon, only to rival Ascension of Heaven. How does that sound? I think it's a good idea. You think you can, you're capable? Yeah, I can make some pretty good JOI, you know. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I might need to do some research though, you know. Yeah, yeah, I might need some beta testing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, could, you could, what if you made it like a two-player level? 
Oh, Ooh. maybe, maybe. You can get Ooh, another player with your more. friends. Of course, uh, decoration will be handled by Moldy, Mango, and Vit. You three will use your incredible adaptability, creativity, and knowledge of the editor to create a decoration project that has never been seen before. You know, a level that anyone can look at and say, damn, that level goes hard. Oh my god, bro, I'm gonna be honest, the concept might be a little bit too hard for me to execute well. I, I think, think you can do it, I think. You can think about the return on investment. Mm, 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 mm. You know, to uh, verify such a beast, I think we call him Zoink, honestly. <laughs> Yeah. Honestly, I oh, think no. he should uh, buff it to top one and it'll cement itself at the top of the demon list and cement the JOI <laughs> level as one of the greatest levels to ever touch Geometry Dash. Please, Mr. Exactly. How, how does this look, guys? Imagine our names cemented at the top of the demon list. Yo, and that's Mr. my dream. My childhood dream. Exactly. Um, and then I upload the level. Thoughts? <laughs> it's It's good. It's okay, yeah, you got I mean, a plan. It's definitely a timeline. So, <clears throat> that's my collab pitch to you guys, right? Jump for JOI. So, I believe this level will be the greatest of greats, the highest of highs, the hardest of the hardest. You know, a level only as great as its contributors. Moldy, Mango, Vit, Blueski, Zemper. I believe these five names can ring in the halls of fame. Five creators whose great innovation led them to redefine what Geometry Dash is, what a level is, what is creativity. So guys, this project, it's an ambitious one, but with the five of us working together, I believe that we can redefine what ambition is. So gentlemen, who's with me? You know, Bluesky, I understand this project, you know, it's an ambitious one, but I believe that no matter- Sorry, I couldn't find the-